The new DJI R3 is packed with the latest technology and has some of the most advanced active track system in it. And I've taken it out and gone through all its features. So let's have a look how that plays out. Here we are in the Verlulen Park in St Albans and we're going to go through active track spotlight and point of interest. We're going to also try taking the drone behind objects and see how quickly it recovers that tracking and try it with different lenses to see what the limitations are. So let's go. With subject scanning, you can see it's put a plus around me. I can click on that and it's selected me. So if there's a group of people, some cars, different things, you can just quickly click that plus icon. And to find that function, you simply go to the three dots on the top right hand side, go to control, drop down to subject scanning, and that's where you click it on. So I'm bringing the drone into just over five meters away, and I'm gonna walk through these trees now and just see how well on foot it will avoid these branches. So we're going to do trace. We've got two challenges here. One is got to get through these trees. And secondly, I go in and out of sunlight. So how well will it cope with that? And I'm guessing it's going to have to adjust its height here because it's definitely flying higher than these branches. There's no side escape. It's got to come down. It's bobbing down. It's only two feet off the ground now, which is quite interesting. It's adjusted the light quite nicely for this. And I would say that's responded rather well from in front. And again, it rises up. So let's see how good these backward sensors are. It seems to be coping quite well. It's moving backwards nicely. There's a branch just behind it. It's avoided that. I'm very nervous here. There's some branches just behind it. They're about a foot away. There's a little gap. It's dropping down, it's going under the gap. There's some more branches behind it. It's finding the open space and it has done that rather well. Now, since the DJI Mini 3 Pro didn't even have this function, I'm loving this. To start the active track, all we need to do is select ourselves and hit active track. And I'm gonna have it just starting by following me. And you'll notice it will turn and slide around behind me. So that's nice and easy. Now I'm just going to go behind this tree. So I'm going to ask it to track from my left. So just so that it understands my left. Now I'm going to ask it to track from my right. And then I'm going to go behind the tree. And it's picked me up quite nicely. It's fighting to find where I am, giving it a bit more of a chance. So let it work out what's going on. It's still thinking about it. It's not really getting itself into position very well. By the time it's done it, I've already got past the tree, but it's picked me up quite nicely, very quickly. So we can tell there's a delayed reaction here of it getting alongside me, working out what the motion is. The nice thing about this is I can just change this in flight whilst recording. So I'm now gonna make it go in front of me, which it already is. Interestingly, 
It's rising up. It's giving itself a little bit of height. And I'm going to move forward. And again, it's taking its time, but it's getting there. And it's doing that quite well. Just behind it is a tree. So I'm just going to keep walking towards this tree, see how long it takes to work it out and what it's going to want to do. Right, it's getting three feet from the tree, two feet from the tree, one feet from the tree, and it's still going backwards. And now it's stopped. And now it's jumping off to the side and it's realizing the tree is there. So let's see if I start walking away, how quickly will it get in front of me? Okay, that's quite reasonable. So now we're going to use Spotlight and there's two ways we can use this. We can put it in the sky, select ourselves and we move around and it will work like a tripod in the sky and just always track us. The other way is to select ourselves, hit Spotlight, hit Go, and then we fly the drone around, control its movements, but it'll always keep us in the center. So let's just show you how we do these two maneuvers. So we can see ourselves there. It automatically defaults to Spotlight. And now we're just going to move us into the part of the frame we want. And then I'm just going to move the drone around. That's very bright sunlight for me. And if I move it away and up, you can see it is still kept me. Uh, it's lost me now. So there's a tripod in the sky, which is really nice because I can be hands-free. I can use this as a camera. I could be talking to the drone, to the camera drone, and it will just follow me. So it stays exactly stationary. So if I walk away from it, it's following me the whole time. A thing to note is if you're still in spotlight and you want to maneuver the drone to a different position, then it's not going to work because it's locked in a position in the sky. So you just need to X out of that. Uh, so let's give you an example. So you just need to hit the cross. So you're out of that, and then you can move the drone around again. Right, next, we're going to hit the plus button, select ourselves, hit point of interest. Now, as you can see here, we can adjust the speed we want it to go, fast or slow. So let's just look at the differences. Let's do slow to start with. Go, and it's going off to one side, off to the right. And that's the drone's right as it's looking at you. And the nice thing about this is it's moving. You can talk to it, your hand's free. You can be cycling your bicycle and it's just gently moving around you. So this is quite good for loads of different scenarios. We'll go back to point of interest. We'll do it the other way and we'll go fast. Hit the go and it's off. And as you can see, that is moving really fast. It's really near that tree. Will it miss it? Yes, it does. That's moving fast. That's exciting. I like that. Ooh. What we're going to do now is use location lock. So I'll fly the drone out in front of me, select an area of, the, area of the ground where I'm not in the frame and use point of interest and set the drone flying slowly off in one direction. And then I will cycle in and out of the frame. Lovely cinematic shot. So let's just give that a go. One thing to notice when you're using point of interest and you're set it, setting the direction, it's the, it's the drone's facing you, it's the opposite to what you're seeing on your screen. So if you're pushing right, the drone's gonna fly left. So your right, drone's left. So just bear that in mind. If I can switch this telephoto lens 
And there we have it. So now we've gone from the wide angle to the telephoto, the 70 mil, the three times lens as they call it. And we're just going to see if we can active track. Now, although it's very close to me, it's actually managed to pick me up. Uh, it's taken me as a location point. So it's about 30 meters away from me, just creeping around, tracking me nicely on that long lens. And this is really windy, so it'd be nice to see how well the Air 3 <laughs> copes in these strong gusts. So I'm just bringing it in and it's actually staying with me and doing a really nice job. Ah, come here. No. So now we're just going to have a look at how well it will track a vehicle. It doesn't have the extra uh, features that the Mini 4 Pro does where you can change how quickly it will react to obstacles when it's doing its tracking. But let's see how well we get on. I'm pulling away and it's move around behind me quite nicely. Of course, I can still move it up and back. It's doing quite a nice job of that. from the side. It's not repositioned itself yet. Now it's come round. It takes a little while for it to adjust itself. Come right above me, now it's moving round to the side again. And ask it to do it in front. I always find this is where these drones get challenged because it takes a while to realise what you're doing. Pick that motion up really quickly. Of course, it's when you go around the corners. It'll take a while to think about it. Three times lens, 70 mil. I'm gonna ask it to track that. And I can ask it to move away from me and up. I well, hope you enjoyed that, you found that really useful. If you want to see more videos on the DJI Air 3, there's a playlist over here. And show me the love, subscribe to the channel here, and I'll see you over there.